Welcome to today's Daily Dominion by Holtz. Yeah, so today's a Thursday. Um, that means we're still, I think, uh, at two expansions. Yeah, this is Menagerie and Prosperity. Uh, yeah, so let's do the way and the event quickly. Well, the way of the worm, it's, yeah, this is one of the more ugly. Um, <laughs> ugly uh, images, I think. Um, yeah, it's terminal, and then you just exile in a state. So it basically gives you one VP. Um, yeah, only relevant if you, yeah, if you really don't know what to do with your action, or uh, yeah, if you draw deck, you have additional actions left, and then yeah, you um, you just use this to gain a little bit of a of a VP um, addition. Uh, yeah, looking at colonies and uh, yeah, colonies and the fact that this is um, this is quite um, an explosive kingdom with mastermind. I think yeah, this will be less um, relevant. Um, then March, yeah, I like this one because um, it allows you some yeah, there's some tricks gaining, and then you use. The buy to march the card you gain during the turn for example um yeah you pay three and then whatever you have in the discard pile if there is an action or more actions you can choose one action and you can play that action uh yeah this can be very good to get duration cards in play like mastermind um, or the trashing expand um, though it will be hard to buy and then or to get expand during the turn and then still have the money to march will be very hard here. Um, yeah, now let's look at uh, yeah, draw plus buys and gains um, and actions. Yeah, so no plus action directly visible here. So that means mastermind horses is the only actions really. I mean, you could do mastermind groom and then get estates. This could also be actions, but a more theoretical um, or end game sort of actions. Um, the groom also gains you horses if you gain um, if you gain actions with it. Uh, yeah, I think this kingdom is too explosive to just win with groom estates or something. I think that's not gonna happen. Um, but one groom seems reasonable. And then later, yeah, once you've got a few masterminds, um, you can do more grooms, I think, without losing um, your uh, yeah, your capability to draw deck. Um, and then you can use the groom to get more cavalries. And then if you're able to get more masterminds, uh, yeah, then you, you kind of can keep building. Um, I mean, there is no plus buy. I, I, Kind of said there is no plus action, but there's also no plus buy. The only gaining we have is through groom, potentially war chest, and expand, and then obviously the horses from cavalry. Um, oh, and the anvil is also an anvil. Don't hundred percent know how to pronounce that. Um, yeah, but this only gains you four cards um, with no additional benefit. Like groom gets your horse, the anvil. Well, it's on terminal. It's in the buy phase. Um, yeah, I think that the more relevant thing about Anvil could be that you get a plus buy if you get a cavalry in the buy phase. Yeah, then you have a, a plus buy and that could be something <clears throat> that you might want to use. Yeah, I would... I would have to think um, a bit more now to anticipate when and if that's really going to happen, but it's something to keep in mind. Um, and I'll come back to that during the play when when I feel it might be uh, the right the right thing to do. Yeah, so the end game here, I think, is masterminds, maybe four. Yeah, if they allow, we can get more, but I, I see like four masterminds and then probably one or two expands um, <laughs> potentially one magnate because we can get uh, yeah, platinums and golds 
Um, yeah, we certainly get one clerk, one groom, I think, one investment, potentially two, but I think one investment is enough. And then cavalries together with the mastermind. So the horse, uh, the masterminded horses, I think, is the draw. Magnate only if we really think we need it. Um, yeah, the masterminds are just better um, for a five. Yeah, so I think then the open is silver. It's not an anvil, I think, could be, but mm, and then gain a cavalry. And we'll investment, but then we basically waive our five. And you can't do the anvil too often for uh, one of those actions because then we really need masterminds to. Yeah, or is it clerk, even anvil clerk, and we do the investment later? Mm. No, I think anvil is not so bad here because we can then march a cavalry that we might gain which is probably giving us the five and the turn after we played the cavalry. I think I, I take an anvil because I want one anyways. It's anyways at some points. And I, don't, I don't know if I want a silver. So I think I'm doing, what did I say? An investment right here. Yeah. I think it's still better than... Well, now we don't get a second one. Now we get one silver. That's all right. I mean, we didn't find the, the anvil here. Okay, bottom decks, that's a little sad. But then we just get the clerk right now here, I think. Yeah, and then now we can, exactly, now we can do what I what I said earlier. Maybe we even hit five. Yeah, we did. <laughs> okay, that's that's a little funny because I was um, anticipating to just march the cavalry. Now I think we don't, we, we rather march the mastermind. Um, but so far, we only have the cavalry, right? No other action. The, the clerk. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Clerk. Yeah, we certainly do this. Play normally. And I think... Hmm. Do we need a war chest here or not? Is that... I mean, what do we gain with the war chest? They will block mastermind, and then what do you do? Get cavalries. How good is that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also said we want a groom. Um, I, yeah, I don't think it's right now, but... Let's do a mastermind again, I think, here. Yeah, this one. Play normally for sure. Okay. And this do we discard? Or do we just take the expand here? I mean we could use a cavalry and then hope to. And we already have two cavalries. No horse horses played yet. No, I think. Oh, I think I'm not discarding here. I I just take the the expand. I want one anyways. Yeah, here we can. <laughs> I was gonna say we can play it, but know that we we uh, we would trash our mastermind. Uh, I mean, we. I don't want a silver, so we could just play the. Play something as a way or have them top deck. I don't think I want the one VP. I want I want them to top deck. Yeah, okay. Now I mean we play the mastermind now on, on cavalry, which is a little bit sad, but what did they get? Cavalry is okay then. Yeah, all right. Play normally. Play normally. Yeah, we get all the horses we can get. Plus one and we march again. And then this is clearly the mastermind, I think. Yeah, this looks now like we are uh, we are getting there. Play normally. Yeah, draw all through. Play clerk. Ah, oh, always the click. Yeah. 
draw, draw um, I'm a little bit. I think we should get another cavalry here just to get rid of those. Yeah, and then we we do the expand on an estate. Huh? Yeah. And the investment on the copper, I think, is fine. Um, yeah, and then we also get the plus buy. So we, I think we don't have to do anything else here. Uh, right now, which so we just end actions. We do this, and then we do this. Yeah, and we don't draw. I think into this, right? No, I don't think that's necessary. Well, somehow. Oh, I don't have an estate anymore, right? I kind of missed that a little bit. Um. Well, the nice thing is we could just get another um mastermind into play here mm, this is 9 11 if we keep the silver i think we don't and then for the nine we do another mastermind and we march it Wait, do we um or is it groom time here? So we definitely play that expand. And we could, uh, yeah, we can worm the horse. Yeah, so let's play this. And what do we trash? I think it is the silver. We get another mastermind. Yeah, we worm the horse. I mean, we could have drawn, but I think I prefer keeping that horse and marching another mastermind. And we just get another mastermind, maybe. Let's just get another mastermind. Yeah, all right. Oh, what's this? Plays a mastermind, draws. Okay, what? I can hardly imagine. Well, maybe they had all the terminals on it. Hard. Hard to believe. Um, okay, one, two, oh, play normally, play normally, play the clerk. Oh, is that, am I now tripling or what, 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 what's happening there? I don't know, it's all good. Okay, now, um, I mean, we can start getting colonies. I think we have our four mastermind. That was sort of my idea. Mm. Turn 11, well, yeah, this will take a bit longer. We, we can also get another expand, I think. Yeah, that's probably very reasonable. We trash one cavalry for now. Yeah, we we can draw this. Okay. Um, I mean, you can also gain. I didn't talk about that in the beginning because it's a colony kingdom, and um, so I thought it's a little less relevant with investments. You can do alternative VP stuff. Um, yeah, that's why a groom could actually be good. It gives us an investment and the silver. And then you can actually trash this. <laughs> no, the, the silver even. But then you don't get the horse from... I think here we, we really just do the silver, right? With the expand. Because we want to play two cavalries then. I think. Silver. It's a little weak, but mm, don't know what else to do. I mean, we can do the anvil cavalry. Yeah, you can't buy them before, right? No. Because we only have one buy, so we, we yeah, we can. 
the minute you play Anvil and then you get the, the cavalry, it triggers, so you can't buy something before. Mm. I mean, the two masterminds, okay. And now, uh, well, I think we definitely do the Anvil for the copper and we draw the cavalry and then we play two cavalries. And then we get a gold, I guess. We don't need more masterminds. Yeah. Yeah, we still don't have a groom. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we kind of missed that boat, but it feels not like feel threatened or anything from their groom. Not yet. The piles are still too solid. Um, but... Yeah, if we play the cavalry first and we use the anvil, then we waste the horse. So let's end it here. Mm -hmm. And then we can. Oh, what happened now? Is there, is there a horse or something? draws a copper and ah because i discarded the copper of course so the cavalry is down here i think then it's worth drawing actually because we need both yeah um i mean we have this additional buy now so we are actually already using it we used it once before but now i mean we could mastermind and and then march the mastermind that's pretty good um or should we get another anvil let, let me think for a second um you know if we buy another anvil and get another cavalry then we could get our groom I mean, depends on whether we want to try to pile as quickly as possible or I mean a mastermind march given our lead is, is certainly not wrong. Even an expand and just marching the expand for a for an estate. I mean no that, that that's not good, but it's it's accelerating the game with the three expands, but the mastermind is still better. Yeah. And we only have four horses. Mm. Yeah, I just decide now that I go for the, another mastermind in the march. So I like it so much to um, have three masterminds going. Um, and then we can do the same. So we, yeah, we don't really need groom. The game would be much faster though if we had a groom. Um, yeah. So I think we draw once more, then we have all the actions we need. And we can always use um, the way. So now another one. Okay, what do you do here? I think we use the expand, we get a gold, silver. Mm -hmm. So we play two horses, so there's another horse down there. Mm -hmm. And we should keep those around because we want the horses for next turn rather. Yeah, so let's do gold. They normally, I mean, we could just get another uh, expand. Let's just get all the expands. Oh, no, did I trash now? Okay, that was accidental. Um, silver, play the clerk. Okay, normally, okay. Yep. Um, I mean, we draw for sure. 
and then we draw again. Okay, and two masterminds. Now we could get a platinum, right? And then is it again mastermind and just marching the mastermind? I think it's prop. I mean, we still increased our capability of the deck quite a bit with these expands. Um, I mean, you can certainly play one. Okay, for a platinum. All right. I think I'm not doing any of that VP investment stuff because it will just slow the game down and we have to gain investments. Or we just get a. Um, a groom here over so we trash the anvil and we just get a groom or something but then we can only get two horses this turn yeah so i think i stop here i buy the or, or gain the cavalry let's just hope i draw the two calories i think i should not have trashed here we don't need the money so yeah so i think actually we just discard the copper and draw the cavalry first. It's a little weird, but I, I think the four horses are more important than anything else. Yeah, and then we can still trash. Let's let's do that. Um okay, now we can play these two guys. We can do we only need eight. Huh? Five, eight, okay. That's exactly enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's how you can pile probably even faster. Yeah, they're going for a bit of VP here. What are they worrying? A marching a mastermind. Yeah, that's reasonable. But where is their mastermind? Oh no, they weren't the mastermind. Oh no. Yeah, okay. I mean that is yeah, I don't know what they do with these were with these ways that do like really an a, a, a questionable alternative action. Um they use that too often recently. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I think now we can really get close to maybe we can even win here. <clears throat> um, we can buy all those calories, but I think we, we don't have enough payload for that. I mean, we have another expand down here, so that's, and if we use it now and we trash all the masterminds, because <clears throat> we don't need them anymore, say, well, the cavalry first, maybe we don't need the cavalry. Mm. Okay, we just empty expands. No, I don't, I don't think that works because the actions will. Uh, will not suffice. Yeah, but it feels like um, this is two points or three. We just need a duchy. Uh, and and two weighed whatever horses or something, or even the the clerk. We could just weigh. Yeah, that's exactly what we are doing. Um. So yeah, we trash the masterminds for masterminds. Right, because we are by limited, yeah, so we need that. And then we can get the cavalry. This is 16, so it's it's a uh, 12. We can trash into a cavalry, like a cavalry. Yeah, let's just do this one. 
to Let's get the province right now, right? Yeah, play the clerk and then wait. Yeah. Um, play a horse. Yeah, here's the mastermind. So I think now we just trash the cavalry and get a cavalry. Yep, and the same again. Mm -hmm. Then I think we just stop. Well, play the cavalry, that's fine, right? Yeah, because then we can trash the horses. Um, we just stop. We get a cavalry. Mm -hmm. Then we have another buy. Four buys now. Yeah, cool. Draw. Draw. Yeah, I mean it's it's over. I'm just thinking what I'm doing here. Um, to uh, I think it still makes sense to play those guys. Trash, right? Play treasures. Really can play them. This doesn't matter. End actions, yeah, or whatever. Bam, bam. I just get the estate and we're done. Yeah, probably we could have maximized the VP a bit more, but it's fine. I, I quit. It's late. Okay, cool. So 13 turns, but this was because we didn't go into colonies. Um, I mean, another approach is here probably piling in, in 15, 16 turns, and you just go hard on the on the colonies. So getting platinum and the expands, and then you just, yeah, you, or you mill colonies then, and you could even finish in 15 turns. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, another game. I mean, they messed up the way minimum once. I didn't pay attention all the time what they they were doing, um, but it didn't feel competitive. Yeah, so that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.